AMD Radeon RX 7800M tested in 3D Mark Times 5. Acer announces a monitor with 600Hz refresh rate. Gigabyte releases BIOS with 105W TDP for Ryzen 9000. And lastly, Nvidia expected to finalize GeForce RTX 5090 and 5080 design. 5080D for China is also expected. Alright, so first we have from One Notebook in their YouTube channel. They have posted this video about the 7800M benchmark on 3D Mark Times Spy, and they're basically benchmarked the GPU on the laptop, of course. And there are some interesting results here, as you can see on 3D Mark in the GPU score. As you can see, it got 15,806. Which is not bad considering 7800M is, is delivering uh, some solid performance here when you compare it of course. Of course in video cards we have a good comparison here so let's look into it. So as you can see AMD Radeon RX 7800M using of course in the benchmarking on the 3 d Mark Times Pi and we got the score is 15806. And we also have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 laptop and clearly it's slower. Definitely slower. Well you could say it is it a really a good comparison because you know 7800 class should be compared with 4080 right because that would be the better understanding but we already know that the 7800m is not going to be competing with 4080 because 7900m is more likely to compare with the 4080 as there is no competitor for the 4090 clearly so it's a better comparison to compare with the 4070 and that makes the 7800m 28% faster than the RTX 4070 in terms of laptop, of, of course. So the 7800M laptop is delivering 28% more performance on 3D Mark Times 5 compared to RTX 4070 laptop, which is tremendously good. But it's not too bad either when you compare it with the RTX 4080 laptop. It's just only 16% slower, which is, yeah, 16% is still a lot, but 28% more compared to RTX 4070 is even better because now it feels like RX 7800M is filling the gap between the 40 RTX 4080 laptop and RTX 4070 so definitely a good laptop GPU. Next up we have some crazy information coming from video cards here and they're basically reporting about this particular monitor which is the Acer Nitro XV240 F6 which comes with a TN panel of 600Hz refresh rate which is crazy if you ask me like 600Hz we are going to the future already. So this particular monitor is 24.1 inches the panel of course is TN panel and the resolution that will be supporting is 1920x1080 which is kind of expected because you're going 600Hz it's pretty much crazy. But that 600Hz comes from the DP port, not the HDMI port. The HDMI port only supports 240Hz, but the DP port will be giving you a 600Hz output. The response time, of course, 1 milliseconds with AMD FreeSync Premium av available. And brightness reaching 400 nits. It's time, in terms of brightness, it's not that much bright, but again, it's a TN panel, so what do you expect? Not only that, even they have introduced the pricing information, and also they're planning to launch two more monitors that are also going to be close to 600Hz, but not quite. It's going to be 520Hz and 500Hz for the XV270U and XV270, of course, F5 respectively. And the pricing information has already been revealed which is the Nitro XV240 F6, a 600Hz model, will be coming at 599 or 899 euros. Of course, 599 USD. And the launch will be on Q1 of 2025. So again, the first quarter of the 20 2025 will be an interesting time, of course, for tech. And they're also launching this particular monitor, which is kind of mind-blowing. And of course, as I mentioned, the Nitro XV270 UF5 and the non-UF5 of that model, basically these two models, the specs are a bit different here, but they're quite the same in terms of refresher. However, it just it, it does changes, which is 520 hertz for X Nitro XV270 and for the Nitro XV270U it's 1440p but 500Hz. Even then it's still quite promising and of course it's gonna be IPS panel for both of these. 
and in terms of the 1440p monitor the brightness goes quite low because you know 215 nits is like it's, it's quite low considering tn are giving more and also even the ips one this particular model is giving 400 nits but this one isn't i guess they had to cut some technologies there so that's okay but the main highlight is of course the nitro xv 240f6 coming with 600 hertz definitely the fastest monitor and next up we have some information coming from tech power up and they're saying about the gigabyte releasing their 105 watts tdp for the ryzen 9700x and the 9600x bios update of course for the am5 motherboards and this particular bios update is basically the agaso 1.2.0.1 0.1a and this is gonna be providing you that uplift for the tdp from 65 watts to 105 watts basically meaning it's gonna be giving you more performance as the cpu is taking more wattage meaning it's also going to be increasing the temperatures so you need to keep that in mind so this is the basically the gigabytes bios update and this is the ui this is how the this is how the ui looks like which is the tdp to 105 watts enabled option is there now so if you want to squeeze more performance and it sh you should be able to squeeze more performance i think considering that 9700x and 9600x are not rated for 65 watts they're even beyond that so definitely having more wattage means that it would output more performance how much no idea definitely need to test first but yeah it's gonna be delivering good performance hopefully and not to mention windows 24 h2 version even provides even more performance so that's pretty good news for the amd 9000 users if you have bought one of course and lastly we have some information about the nvidia rtx 5000 series and we already know the information about the rtx 1590 reaching up to 600 watts coming from copy the 7 kimmy of course and he basically confirmed that increase in power consumption for the black wall series basic aka the rtx 5590 will have more performance but with more power consumption and now we already know why because 600 watts for 5090 and 400 watts for 5080 that is pretty much the case but there is more information here in the benchlive.info and i want to highlight this particular text here which is the geforce rtx 5090 of the blackwell gpu architecture and the geforce rtx 5080 d are scheduled to be officially opened in september meaning the 5090 or the 5090 d and the 5080 or the 5080 d are scheduled to be launching in september but that is, however, is not true. Hero case 5719 also reported the same thing here, saying that it's going to be launching in September. But according to Zad Wang, he's clarifying one particular thing here is that what Benchlab said is that 5080-D and 5090-D are scheduled to officially finalize the design in September, not officially launch in September. So basically, this is, of course, this particular site is translated from english to of course chinese or chinese to english i should say but but yeah uh, this particular statement here which is opened of course this sentence doesn't make sense how do you open a gpu of course that doesn't make any sense but we have some clarification now from zad wang is that it's gonna be not launching in september which is pretty quick in my opinion obviously like nvidia has been silent completely and out of nowhere they're not gonna be releasing any gpu like that so clearly in september we're not gonna be getting any kind of 5000 series of release rather they're gonna be finalizing the design for the 5090 and the 50 id slash d and i'm wondering which particular design they're gonna follow is it gonna be the leaked image which is the you know the bigger thicker design that they're gonna be going for because remember it's gonna be consuming 600 watts and 400 watts so definitely you can guess that the heat sinks will will be huge like clearly there's no doubt about that the 600 watts for and each any gpu is crazy already so they're going for some crazy numbers there are 600 watts for 1590 so i'm guessing this will take some serious cooling design otherwise how they're gonna mitigate the 600 watts clearly this is gonna be something huge so we'll see about that so yeah don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if there is more information you will be notified